proof of the chain rule. We are given that capital F of X is equal to lowercase f of G of X. And we need to prove that capital F prime of X is equal to lowercase f prime of g of x times g prime of x. By the definition of a derivative, we know that capital F prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of capital F of x plus h minus capital F of x all divided by h. Since capital F of x is equal to lowercase f of g of x, we can use substitution to rewrite the limit expression as the limit as h approaches 0 of lowercase f of g of x plus h minus lowercase f of g of x all divided by h. Next we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator of our rational expression by g of x plus h minus g of x. Remember, multiplying the numerator and denominator of any rational expression by the same expression is the same as multiplying it by 1. This makes the right side of our equation become the limit as h approaches 0 of f of g of x plus h minus f of g of x all divided by h times g of x plus h minus g of x divided by g of x plus h minus g of x. Since we multiply the numerators together, as well as the denominators, the order of multiplication doesn't matter. Therefore, we can switch the two denominators around. So let's take this h and move it to the second fraction, and take this g of x plus h minus g of x and move it to the first fraction. And then our, the right side of our equation becomes the limit as h approaches 0 of f of g of x plus h minus f of g of x divided by g of x plus h minus g of x times g of x plus h minus g of x divided by h. Next, distribute the limit as h approaches 0 to both factors in our expression. So it goes to the first rational expression and the second. So we have the limit as h approaches 0 of f of g of x plus h minus f of g of x divided by g of x plus h minus g of x times the limit as h approaches 0 of g of x plus h minus g of x divided by h. You probably recognize the second limit being equivalent to g prime of x, so let's replace it. That makes the right-hand side of our equation simplify to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of g of x plus h minus f of g of x divided by g of x plus h minus g of x times g prime of x. A little bit simpler. In order to simplify further, we're going to need to use substitution. Let's assign a random variable u to be equal to g of x plus h minus g of x. If this is true, then by the addition property of equality, we could add g of x to both sides, and g of x plus h would be equivalent to g of x plus u. As h approaches u, I'm sorry, as h approaches 0, u approaches 0. Why? Because if we were to substitute 0 in for h up here, we would get g of x minus g of x, which is also 0. So with these facts, we can simplify the limit to be the limit as u approaches 0 of f of g of x plus u minus f of g of x all divided by u times g prime of x. Let's use a type of substitution again to make this more closely resemble the limit definition of a derivative by assigning another variable, say v, equal to g of x. This will make our limit expression become the limit as u approaches 0 of f of v plus u minus f of v all divided by u times g prime of x. Now this remaining limit follows the definition of a derivative, therefore it can be rewritten as f prime of v times g prime of x. If we substitute g of x back in for v, we get 
that capital F prime of X is equal to lowercase f prime of G of X times G prime of X. And this proves that the chain rule is indeed true.